Attack features an effect section with eight different effects, namely Delay, Skid, Filter, Phaser, Flanger, Echo, Transform and Pan. By holding Shift and pressing FX not 1 or 2, you can open this window, which shows the effects parameters. The window is resizable, so you can fit it into your screen. I'll keep the window open to clear things up a bit, however, you don't need to do that, since you can control all parameters with the digital jockey. Choose an effect with Shift and Effect 1 or Effect 2. The effect is engaged by pressing the effect buttons. Each effect has two parameters that can be controlled with these knobs. Generally speaking, level controls the effect frequency or depth. Time controls the sweep speed or delay timing. You can choose between a quarter and four bars, based on the speed of the song. Should you want to fine-tune the effects, then press on the knob while turning it. You can control the effects with the jog wheel too. This is how it works. The reverse switch normally plays the track backwards, but if you press shift and reverse you can select between reverse, fx1 and fx2. Hit the button again to activate jog wheel control for the selected effect. You can change parameter 1 on the fly. If you want to change parameter 2, you have got to hold shift. The effect section is great fun, you can learn how to operate it quickly, giving you total control. This tutorial can by no means show you everything, so please get creative and try it out yourself. <laughs>